Okay, we're back here inside theCUBE. This is uh, SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage of Sapphire Now. We're live in Orlando, day one of three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. This is theCUBE, we do this all the time. We come in, we extract the signal from the noise. This is our flagship program. Multiple days, all day long, getting the signal, sharing that story with you. We'd like to talk to everyone. We'd like to talk to the vendors, the companies that are here. This is obviously SAP show. So we want to hear from some from SAP, and David Payne, Vice President of Global Technology Partners, is inside theCUBE with Henrik Wagner, Wagner back again from EMC because you guys are, I see two companies working together. This is SAP show. Right. Um, you guys are moving like a freight train down this transformation. Going back, say four years ago, I was at uh, 2010 uh, Sapphire, mm -hmm. and it was really kind of like the second year into this kind of like tweak, like hey, we got to wake up. Right. And you guys started moving down this direction. Not mm -hmm. much has changed, except for some market forces like HANA, cloud, mm -hmm. and mobile, which right. accelerated. All that's accelerated. So, so you guys have to integrate with partners, and the ecosystem has been a number one story we've heard from people this morning right. around HANA, around the future architectures of the modern architecture, and everyone wants to know what's the status of the ecosystem for SAP. So my first mm -hmm. question is, what is going on with the ecosystem? What's the feedback? Are there concerns? How are you guys addressing them? You guys are traveling at Mach 100. Mm -hmm. You have to deal with that. What, what are some of the issues right now? And right. What's some of the feedback? Yeah, so we want to embrace some of the mega trends like cloud and uh, our ecosystem and channel team has a strategic objective of co-innovation with business partners. And that's why we work with EMC. Uh, cloud is a, a mega trend which has uh, swept over SAP and our customers want to embrace it. And they need to know how to get from A to B, how to, to take their investments uh, that they've made and yeah make them now private cloud or, or virtualized. We just had a customer on from EMC, which is uh, SAP and implementations with virtualized and uh, West Pharmaceuticals, and you know, one of the things that we were commenting on was some of the efficiencies that he's got with virtualization. Mm -hmm. So one is more of the, the environmental, you get make more of your resources, it's more, it's on a path of being green, sustainable, however you want to call it. Right. Um, but the other one was Oracle license savings. <laughs> it's like straight up, yep. hey, we save more on Oracle license, we reduce the number of servers. So I got to ask you, obviously mm -hmm. Oracle's a competitor, it's, not, not, it's pretty well known that right. you guys uh, don't like each other and compete heavily, and mm -hmm. as Bill McDermott says, you compete to win. Um, right. uh, but now that the, the model of Oracle is to virtually integrate, and you have the Sun acquisition, you're seeing purpose-built hardware, right. that's their play, mm -hmm. okay? SAP has always been different, it's always been a software company, and again, the message right. is today, but the modern architectures are coming together yeah. as integration. So I'd like to hear from you, and then uh, Henrik, if you could talk about EMC's perspective. The integrations have to be tightly coupled. Right. Is that trending towards that Oracle model? Is it different? And you just explain that to us. So engineered systems per se are a good thing, but choice is even better. And we don't have an approach of locking in software and hardware on a fixed set of configurations. We, we believe, generally speaking, in open, but engineered systems, and we, we have our platform with HANA, and that's the result of direct collaboration with Intel, uh, and they have obviously a, a, a strong ecosystem as well. So you're expanding but your integration certification efforts, right? Yes, we are absolutely expanding our uh, so you agree integration with certification. In, in, integrating is good? Oh yeah, integrating is good, and engineered, and, and the, uh, the optimization of systems from different vendors to achieve performance objectives is great, and that's why we would collaborate with EMC. We've had Ralph Lindenlob on theCUBE before, and I actually saw him in Vegas at EMC World, great mm -hmm. guy, and he right. was uh, at the SAP, was it the SAP uh, Excellence Center, or, or was it? Center of Excellence, Center in Santa Clara, Excellence yeah. In mm -hmm. Santa Clara, and uh, he's an SAP employee, a scientist right. or engineer, and that was that was three and a half years ago that yeah. kind of started. Right. Hendrik, where, where's that now? I mean, you know, so, that's what is what progress has been made in, those, in that time frame? Well, well, I think if you look back three to four years, people were deploying SAP and they didn't really care about the infrastructure. The infrastructure people cared about the infrastructure for SAP, but the people deploying and doing system copies and provisioning of landscape and deployments didn't care about it. What's changed over the last couple years is we've seen these people get together, the business, the functional people, the infrastructure people, leveraging cloud, leveraging virtualization to drive that agility, much faster time to market, both on the cloud side of our customers building out private cloud, but also on the HANA. I mean, if you look at HANA, it's today, it fundamentally sits on a HANA appliance, right? So, you know, the HANA software, the database, sits on, on a purpose-built uh, appliance. We think we have a really good data center-ready HANA appliance. And when those forces come together from the application, the people dealing with the application, and work with the infrastructure people, that's where I think you can move the fastest 
in right. the space. One of uh, our mutual customers told me at 11 o'clock this morning that they wanted a single view of the SAP and infrastructure together. The days of having different dashboards and analytics yeah. is, is gone for them. Well, I mean, look, I mean, you guys had a history. I mean, I remember back in the days when SAP was a startup and so was Oracle and went public and all those days, it was a software business. Right. And, you can, and general purpose hardware was the way it, way it was, and that's just the way it was. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not general purpose anymore. You have specialty systems now, it's an operating <laughs> systems. I mean, mm -hmm. EMC and Pivotal are laying that out pretty clearly that they look at the world as you know, the clouds and operating system feeding yeah. devices. Right. Um, so in the machinery there, that's infrastructure. So mm -hmm. that's happening. On the other side, you have DevOps, a huge trend around the developer community. Mm -hmm. um, can you add some color to, to what's going on there on the SAP side and how that relates to the, the EMC infrastructure, single view of infrastructure? So we uh, see uh, cloud as a, a key platform for people who want to build applications and deploy it and collaborate. Uh, and EMC has a very, very strong relationship with lots of different cloud providers, uh, providing the infrastructure to, to make all that run and to be uh, uh, performant and, and available. Henrik, you've seen the DevOps and that mentality of developers. That was a message we heard at EMC World. Yeah, I mean, we, we, I, I was very impressed of having uh, Paul Moritz speak a couple times at EMC World, and it, it starts coming together, the fact that he left the CEO spot at VMware, and now being ahead of uh, Pivotal, and the opportunity to drive innovation, using that development platform, drive innovation in various companies so they can move faster. I mean, look at GE that put $100 million investment into Pivotal, right? It kind of put a statement out in the market that if you want to drive innovation, you know, you got to figure out how to develop better, how to integrate, innovate better with the, your technologies within the machineries or the medical devices that you make or the engines that, that they make at GE. So mm -hmm. talk about the, the trend around abstraction of complexity, because one of the things that always comes up in, I don't want to say middleware, but when you have these converged mar markets going on, mm -hmm. where SAP's colliding in with the infrastructure, you kind of make it kind of seamless and work together, but yet separate and make it cohesive. Right, There's right. an abstraction, there's technologies, and I think is a great example of where mm -hmm. you've kind of taken HANA where it was built, from, you know, look back how far along it was start build, and then you know, it starts to come to market, and then Hadoop comes in, these new technologies, cloud mm -hmm. explodes on the scene. Right. So you, the goal, as Pat Gelsinger said, is to abstract away the complexities. Mm -hmm. What are you guys doing in your ecosystem to make that easier? Is it certification and testing? And, and what, what can you say to customers that need to feel comfortable about that? So we have uh, joint uh, product collaboration with EMC uh, to reduce some of the complexity of managing infrastructure that supports SAP. Uh, that's, that's a very important thing. Um, and th the context here is that people want to lower the cost of operations of SAP. They need to free up capital for innovations. Uh, we can't help a customer make a business case for HANA unless they've sweated their assets and got ROI out of what they've already deployed. So that's why we collaborate, to help on that agility and that, that cost of ownership and therefore freeing up capital. So Henrik, the, in the keynote, uh, Bill McDermott talked about social's the new dial tone. Slow kills companies fast. Machine to machine, dark data, big data, smart tech. We were talking at ENC World about some of the things uh, that you've been involved in. Uh, how does that relate to your job? Because you're obviously working with SAP. That's you know SAP's vision. We heard EMC's message of transformation. Where do those two visions kind of meet in the middle? I think they match perf uh, perfect because SAP is very collaborative and social media driven company companies. Mm -hmm. I'm still amazed seeing all these SAP mentors rolling around with their Twitter name. You know, I'm a soccer fan, so they're wearing soccer jersey with the Twitter fans, and that's how they communicate and how they get to things and answers quicker. So that's company to company or people to people. But if you start communicating quicker using social media, you know, talking, driving to solutions quicker with your customers and partners, you're fundamentally being able to innovate and solve problems faster. One example that I'm still amazed to this day is uh, one of my friends who's a global vice president at SAP, he told me by using Twitter, both publicly and privately, he's reduced the amount of email by 60%. And I get today way too much email, so I'm trying to prescribe to that and do more <laughs> Twitter and privately and, and, and publicly. Well, so this new world is changing. I mean, that's a great example. And also we heard Sanjay Poonin at the press conference. We broadcast it live here on Silicon Angle. Mm -hmm. You got a little music going on mm -hmm. above us. Air guitar. Um, uh, Andrew Jassy is a schoolmate yep. of Sanjay mm -hmm. and at Harvard Business School and you're seeing their project, the mobile project, running on Amazon. Yep. So again, to your right. point, that's mm -hmm. an example of how you guys view infrastructure. Right. You want to give the customers choice, yep. but yet make it work, and, and someone said, who's going to support that? And they said, this is an SAP product. Mm -hmm. Is that the direction I continue to go, and what other things can you share? Is there any other examples you can share besides Amazon and EMC? 
Uh, so yeah, we have uh, a number of uh, service providers that uh, offer host of HANA, for example. I, I walked past uh, uh, Savas earlier in the afternoon. Uh, we have uh, Wipro and uh, Infosys both doing uh, good things with uh, host of HANA. Well, you guys have a very strong partnership. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. We got the music blare and the bands <laughs> coming on. This is Sapphire now. Woo! This is live in Orlando. <laughs> Sapphire is probably one of the coolest companies on the planet. I love coming to this show. Uh, EMC World last week was entertaining, informative. You guys have a great partnership, congratulations. Yeah. And, uh, and we'd love to hear more from customers, so mm -hmm. keep on bringing them by. Yep. This is SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage of Sapphire Analysis theCUBE. We'll be right back with wrap up after this short break.